now welcome in one of our show favorites, Jeff Judkins. Yeah, baby. NBA veteran, longtime <laughs> basketball great. How long has it been? Current women's basketball head coach. Have been out? What do you mean? Well, playing? since we haven't had you in the studio. It's been, God, it's been this thing called a pandemic. Yeah, it's been, it's been, it's been hard. Has it yeah. been like two years? It's Has been, it been that long? It's been a, yeah, at least a year and a half. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah, it's, it's been a long time. It's good to see you in person in studio. It's what's, good to be here. On, man? I enjoy this. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. I enjoy talking ball with you guys. So we have a little bit of an issue with what the NBA did with their uh, 75th anniversary team. They didn't include one Jeff Judkins. Oh, boy. <laughs> Do you feel snubbed not being a part of the 75th anniversary team? You and Clay Thompson, right? Yeah, I really feel bad about that. You know? you're, you're right. You know, my jersey in the Celtic is retired. Did you know that? You it's and not, it's, number, it's number 32, which was Kevin McKell's number, which got retired. So I look and say, hey, that's my number. It's very nice they retired me. But, um, yeah, you know, there's a lot of great players. I, I saw some of those names. And, I was fortunate to play against a lot of them. So, um, but they're very, very, I mean, what an honor. I mean, Clay Thompson, it'd be, it's hard to say what would happen. You know, he's, he's got to be close to there, like what his number was. I mean, there's, there's some other guys I'm sure that felt they deserved it too. But, um, you know, I had that board in my, you guys have seen it. I have it's the, incredible. The, the 50 top players. Yes. And of course the head of it is Michael Jordan and there's bird and magic on the side of him. And, when I look at that every day, I think about they're the, they're the ones that made basketball. They, the league became the league when those guys were in it. Oh, yeah, man. You played with and against those guys. I did. That's I did. It was so fun. Did you ever guard any of those three? I guarded Magic practice, Johnson Larry all the Bird. time. I guarded Bird in practice. I guarded – I didn't get in the league. My, I was out of the league when Michael Jordan came in, in 94. That's probably the greatest draft – 94 draft. Oh, the 84 eight, draft? Eight, or the 84, 84 draft. draft? I mean, yes. Yeah. yeah, excuse me. 84 is when I, when, I, when I retired or basically got let go. I didn't decide I wanted to retire. but Just say you retired. It's a PR. Yeah, 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 it's probably better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that's right. <laughs> so I didn't get to play against him. But I'll rest on bottom on there, yes. That's amazing. How many, so 70, top 75, right? How many zeros do we need to add before you feel comfortable that you're in the top whatever in the NBA? 750? 7,500. God, not 7,500. Come on. <laughs> no. Um, 7,500. Know, no. I can't remember. I know the time there's what? I can't remember. 100 or 200 and something players in the NBA when I played. So, yeah. You know, I wasn't. You were one of I, the best 200 players in the world, God, Jeff. Look, that's right. That's, that's how you have to look at it. That's amazing. You know, I, I remember sometimes I get down on myself and say, God, I didn't play and I didn't do this. And my family would say, Jeff. You're one of 250 players in the world that's playing. And you, know, you look at that and you say, yeah, that is pretty special. And how many guys can say their dream, they got a chance to do their dream? Don't. That's crazy. Yeah, it is. Did Jeff Judkins have a better NBA career than Jimmer? We'll discuss after the break. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, Today, my today's hey, It would have been different. The three pointer. Oh, yeah. right. More Johnny teams. or Jimmer. Brandon you Davies decide. versus Kyle Collins. No. <laughs> uh, today's exhibition, certainly. Final tune up for this team. Hey, you have like the same team, and then you added a bunch of freshmen. Is it hard to integrate those freshmen into a you team know. that you felt was really good already? You, got, you guys won a game in the NCAA tournament. The game you lost was to the NCAA runner up Arizona. Yeah. How, how, is, how difficult has that been? Um, that's been the hardest thing, is trying to. You have veterans who've been here, understand everything, and you don't want to lose them in practice or lose them in something, but you have these young freshmen that need time themselves. Um, example helps. When you have veterans that are good examples, um, I think you see a lot more in the NBA probably than you do college, especially men's basketball. The good players leave, and so you never have that. But, but in the NBA, you have a veteran put their arm around a young rookie and say, hey, here, here you go, and we'll, we'll take care of you. Um, my seniors have been awesome. You know, in fact, my upperclassmen, you got to look at Lauren and Shaley and, Smy and, and Smiler, and those, those guys have been great, great examples too. And this freshman class is good, I'm telling you. They're, they're good. Uh, you'll see when they start playing some of them. Two of them aren't going to be playing. They'll probably redshirt. But the other four are going to play, and you're, you're going to see some, some really good, good things from them. Jeff Judkins is with us on BYU Sports Nation. Let's focus on the upperclassmen because 
Your team is loaded and not surprisingly picked to win the West Coast Conference. Jerem just mentioned a team that won an NCAA tournament game last year, took Arizona to the wire, and you've got high expectations. Shaley Gonzalez, Paisley Harding, Lauren Gustin, Sarah Hampson. Uh, then you've got a loaded bench with Tegan Graham and Kaylee Smiler. Jeff, how do you keep everybody happy with minutes and a rotation? Do you feel like you're set in that regard? It's going to be hard, harder this year than last year because of what you said. The, the expectation, the players have, have been here, they've, they're doing it. It could be a lot matchup, some of this stuff. Um, and then trying to throw in, I mean, Smither is playing, you know, when, when Shaley got hurt and Smither had to, had to take that position for a while, she, she played pretty well as, as on that team. And so it's going to be, you know, I'm going to go by the flow and, and my gut and have, and listen to my assistant coaches and see what they feel about things and try to do what's really best for this team. I mean, they all came back. Yeah, they came back to be at BYU and have fun and all that, but they came back to win a conference championship. They came back to get to the NCAA tournament and um, and not just get in it. You know, they felt like we felt at last year, you know, Paisley got hurt, couldn't play in that game as well as she – with her hand. We yeah. were right there. Let's talk about that. People, and I think we addressed it, uh, but if people forgot, she broke her hand, she broke her hand in the first round game, right? Correct. She broke in the fourth – right at the start of the fourth quarter against Rutgers. She played she, through it and made some big shots big in that shot. game she played after the with broken, the broken hand. hand in the second uh, round against Arizona. But that's that, – yeah, but that's Paisley. I mean – you know, I mean, Paisley is one of the toughest players I've ever coached, and she competes, and, yeah, she would have played no matter what. I mean, I mean, I could have gone and said, hey, Paisley, sit out this or No, Paisley was going to play, and she, she was limited. You know, she couldn't do the things that she could do, but her presence on the court was, was really big for us. Um, tougher group to wrangle, uh, your team or your horses right now? <laughs> That's a hard one. No, my horses are pretty tame, so probably my team's probably a little bit harder. <laughs> How are the horses? They're awesome. How I many do you have again? I have six. Six. And I ride them a lot, and I spend a lot of time with them. That's kind of my I go my go-to out, you know, to yep. relax and, and, and do it. I heard a long time ago. When I think relaxing, I think – Taking care of horses. That's hard, right? <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. But you love but, it. But I, but I enjoy it. But you know the thing is in life, um, to really mentally, and we, you guys have seen this so, with so many athletes, I've done, I've done some research, and they say if you can do something you enjoy that you don't think about it, it just becomes easy and joy. It makes you a lot better mentally. And that's, that's what's been for me. I, I don't worry about things like people say it's a little hard work, you know. I don't notice it that way. It's like coaching. I don't. Coaching's hard work. It's a lot of a lot of things that you have to sacrifice and give up. But I don't look at it that way. And um, I think when you're when you look at it in a positive way like that, you can you can do many many great things. Listen, we're going to retire something. Uh, when that time comes at BYU. I, I'm calling for it. We'll do it in Studio we'll B if we we'll have do to. It we will a, hang a Judkins a suit jersey, or something. a suit yeah. jacket, something. Okay? <laughs> the sacrifices that you put in, I, I'm, I kid half, but I'm also serious because you've meant so much to this this program and uh, to well, women's sports at BYU. That means a lot. You know, um, I've tried. I've tried to do the best, and um, I've been really lucky. I've had great players, great coaches, great people around me and uh you know like like yesterday when you came in and watched a little bit of film i mean tell me how many announcers come in and watch film with the team and kind of do that that's that's something special yeah uh, it's uh well, it's, i want to be around that team the season know, we hasn't even around. started and we're cranked well, i love it i'm just emotional i'm an emotional guy and are we gonna cry we're gonna cry some more during this season then Winning a WCC championship, That'd be nice. going to the NCAA I hope so. Let's I hope you're all, I hope I you're right. It. That's awesome. Well, thanks, guys. Oh, Jeff, thanks it's, for coming. It's so over. great to talk to you. Let's give you some karma for the. Uh, the yeah, let's get tonight. the karma let's started now. Let's get Don't it rolling. Hear. You don't need it tonight, but let's we'll give it to you anyway. Rolling. Okay. <laughs> you know, and uh, yeah, we'll have some fun. Looking forward to it today. All right, thanks, guys. Got him talking about his horses. You know.